traits you might not know are ADHD, part six, rejection sensitivity dysphoria, or RSD. You might actually have heard of this one. Fortunately, it is finally really making the rounds because it is one of the more recently understood ADHD symptoms. But that doesn't mean that necessarily your person who prescribes your medications or your therapist, it still might not have made it to them. So it's important for you to know what it is and understand how it might impact your life. You need to know that there is a good reason why that thing sucks extra hard for you or why you're having these really big feels that don't quite make sense to you. Yes, there is the literal fear of rejection and that, that is part of it. It's actually a cluster of things, but they all sort of combine into this sort of social discomfort or, or self-judgment discomfort. Here are some things it could look like. Our feelings tend to get hurt really easily, or we might overinterpret something to be negative, uh, someone else's impression of us. We might make the assumption that somebody doesn't like us or that they're doing something to harm us when in fact, they may not have even noticed us. It also means that we have an extra aggressive inner critic and that we can get into a pattern of negative self-talk even easier than the average person. It also means we're slightly more likely to have imposter syndrome and have that actually prevent us from doing some of the tasks that we need to do. It means that things like writing a letter about ourselves or a document about ourselves is going to suck so hard because of all of the imposter syndrome and it's boring and it's awful and yeah. It also might mean that it's really hard for you to ask for help because we tend to be really sensitive about bothering other people, even if we don't mind it when people ask us for help. It might mean that we assume everything's our fault we don't tend to notice the things we have done and hyper fixate on our failures. And rejection sensitivity dysphoria can feed into a perfectionism urge because we feel like we have to do it so much better to even be okay. On the outside, this might look like in a teen or even an adult that they get angry at the slightest thing or the slightest correction you give them. That's because you weren't there in their head for all of that negative criticism they've been getting the whole time. You were only there for the last one. And guess what? They can't yell at the voice in their head that keeps telling them how awful they are. So they're going to yell at you. You just can't see the internal criticism that's been happening all day. And in teens, it can also look like depression because they're so hard on themselves. And because people with ADHD do actually receive more criticisms, uh, those factor in on each other and compound and can lead to depression. What does rejection sensitivity look like in your life?